guys, welcome to the First Division preview show. Delighted to welcome Keen Menton once again for this. Um, some big games of this again, Keen. We'll start off with Cork City and UCD. And uh, for a change, we'll have to give Cork City a bit of praise for that unbelievable performance in Sligo and a fantastic winner from Holland. His first goal at the club, I believe, as well, uh, laid on. We won't talk about Mark McNulty's error, though. Uh, <laughs> That that uh, opened the scoring for Sligo. They got away with it. But a big game at UCD themselves had a fantastic result to Keane because that was Shelburne's first defeat of the season, the 2-0 win. Uh, so both teams will be going into this a bit buoyant, I suppose. How do you see this one go? Yeah, oh, I'm not going to lie. I was rubbing my hands together when I say McNulty slipped that. Uh, the catch and the thing that made it funny was... Well, I, I don't mean to say funny was... That should be an easy catch now for McNulty. Oh, no, he's dropped it. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, jeez. There, was, there so, was genuine shock uh, from the Sligo commentators, wasn't there? Yeah, I'm really so. It was an yeah. easy catch. Yeah. Uh, he got away with it. But look, a massive performance that was. And I think that's that bit of bottle that I was talking about. That's that bit of balls that I think Cork City haven't had for years. So to see it coming out now, only in glimpses against Sligo, but... You know, to win the game. Those, the question, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, 3 2, brilliant. I'm delighted for them. Uh, we're looking forward to the next round. Uh, it should be a good one. Uh, I'll be down there and I'll be just trying to stay out of McNulty's way. But, <laughs> now. The opposite goal I, for each half. <laughs> yeah, now, I, look, I genuinely think it's going to be a massive game on Friday. Both sides coming into it now. Two massive wins, as you said, in the cup, which is going to kick them on now. One of them, someone's going to come out unhappy about them on Friday. But I fancy UCD to win it over Cork, and I'm going to go UCD here. Yeah, I mean, as I said, both teams had great wins in the cup, and um, I suppose UCD a bit overshadowed with the 2 0 win over Shelburne. But as I said, Shelburne had lost all season, to be fair. Um, but lost that one. Probably won't do Shelburne any harm. We'll get on to them later on because they can fully focus on getting promoted now, which is the main thing. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think I've got to do a bit of a sit in the fence again, Keen here. Honestly, I can't separate them. I expect Cork to um, not go back to type, let's say, and um, get something out of this game. And hopefully, from UCD's point of view, we can see them performing as well. It could be a good game, actually, but I'm going to go for a draw. Uh, at Lone Town and Treaty. Another draw. Another draw, I know, yeah. Might as well put them all down as draws. Athlone Town and Treaty, and obviously Athlone Town were involved in a humdinger. And uh, I suppose we have to talk about Glenn McCauley. I have to laugh, Keane, because I didn't know Glenn McCauley had signed for Athlone. Oh, really? Genuinely. Genuinely didn't know he'd signed. And next thing I seen on the thing, he'd scored goal. I was like, what? When did he sign? You know what I mean? For Shelburne, or for Athlone from Shelburne. But I was actually delighted with him. He obviously scored a hat trick. And um, that goal, you know, to score that goal a 4 3 with the last kick of the game, serious quality. And I was delighted for him because um, I want to see Glenn McCauley kick on. We know he came back from Liverpool. He struggled at Pats, struggled at Bowes, didn't get a look in the shells. Let's hope Glenn kicks on at low now, though. Yeah, look, what a game. Uh, and what a way to introduce us out with a hat trick. Look, I, I just, I dread to think. Of the abuse he'd get in that dressing room, last kick of the game to go for that if he missed it. I'll be honest, I dread to think. Imagine, imagine. But, but did he have time to do anything else? That's the question, Kane. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure he did. But to just see all the players running forward at that minute in time, <laughs> it's like rugby. You know and for hair? him to just. Lump it now. Look, yeah. we won't say just lump it because no. it was technique, yeah. it was precise, it was unbelievable. What a strike! I'm delighted for him. It hasn't worked for him in Ireland since he came back from Liverpool. Uh, he hasn't got a chance. He he got his chance early on the season. Michelle's got himself sent off. Had a little few games or two in in and out of the side. Didn't really do much. Mm. But you know, this is this is his fourth club now here. And since 2019, and look, I know the league is a merry-go-round, but it's a bit much. Uh, so he, he'd want to settle down now, and he'd want to get a b- b- good performance in. Uh, it's not long suit him, Keane. Adrian Carberry is known as a good man manager as well. I'm not saying the other managers weren't, but... Yeah, yeah. Look, it's, 
it's tough. It's tough to say. No, like you'd like to think Stevie O'Donnell or Pat would have been the same or you'd like to think Keith Long and Trevor Crowley would have been the same at Bows. You'd like to think Ian Morris would be the same at Shells. Is he better and, off you know, though being seen as, I don't know, a big fish as such? Maybe that will suit him better being at loan, you know what I mean? Maybe a team that obviously aren't at the level of the other teams, if we're honest, at the moment yeah, of time. Yeah. Is it possible that suits him better for now, anyway? Yeah. For now, yeah, look, he, mm-hmm. he likes the loom, like, there's no doubt about it. He likes, you know, he, he likes that part. He likes being the main man, in my opinion. That's the vibe I get off him. I'm not saying that's negative. I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm not saying anything like that. But I'm saying that's what he likes, in my opinion. So, you know, I think he, he would still, he'd still at long for that because I think he will be probably the star man. He will be the man that they're going to look to as well as Meany, as well as probably down on off the wing. You know, they're going to look to these players. So, Curtis and stuff. So, they're going to they're gonna try and use him now. And, you know, he has a chance here to get himself a decent move if it goes well. And, you know, this is a, a big opportunity for him because if, I think if this goes bad, I could see him fall out of the league. Yeah, I agree, yeah. No, 100%. They've also brought in Connor Barry, actually, from Finn Harps, which looks like a decent sign in paper as well. So if they can keep their players fit, they could make a serious push into the playoffs here as well, couldn't they? Yeah, definitely. And before I even say, I'm saying that you might fall out of the league, but I don't want them to. I genuinely don't want oh, them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, yeah. I, I really, I think he's a top lad and a great player. So, you know, he, he's exciting. And I've seen him first time when he played with Pats. He was exciting. He was direct. He was good. So, you know, I think he... He has everything there. He has all the tools to go and play. So, you know, Connor coming in is another good sign for them. So, you know, that's been a good window for that long then. You know, I think, and look, they can easily come into the playoffs now. Like, they can easily finish in it. In my opinion, they just need to keep what they're doing, though. You need to keep it up. Uh, if you don't keep it up, there's something wrong. So, you know, they just need to stay consistent. And, that, that bad run needs to come to an end now. Yeah, Trishy as well, obviously, they're joint uh, second to lead with Galway, and uh, they did put it up to Dundalk. That said, uh, Ty Ryan made some very good saves in that match as well to keep them in it, but they did show at the same time how difficult they are to play against, even for a side like Dundalk. Yeah, they were excellent in the game, very organised, very direct, and they weren't expressive or anything. They weren't they weren't playing, they're not a team, like I said, that, play, that are playing stuff and they're saying, geez, you'd watch this all day, because they're not, they're the total opposite. But, you know, they're getting results, they're getting wins, uh, they ran them that close, and it just so tired us. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And the dog just came out on top, and look, there's no harm in that, there's no shame in that. Uh, I think they'd, They'd make it. They they do well in the cup now, in my opinion. If they were still in a treaty, because I don't think many teams would have the quality to beat them or break them down. So, you know, I'm surprised to see them go out so early. But look, but when you get a draw like Dundalk, it's always going to be an uphill task. But you know, really positive from treaty, second in the table at the minute, well, joint second. And you know, I think they'll uh, they'll be a tough one here. I'm going to go treaty here. Ooh, I'm actually going to go at loan. I think that might surprise a few people here and uh, score a couple of goals. So at loan for me to win this match. On to Shells and Cove, and we spoke about Shells, and uh, I don't think they'll be too disappointed losing that Cove match UCD in reality, to be honest with you. They signed Malloy yeah. this week as well. I mean, if they need to get any stronger, there's another player in for them as well. Um, Cove, I suppose we have to talk about Cove and the fact that Stuart Ashton essentially was let go by the club, and Murphy has come in, and he, now he's manager of the club. Surprise for you, or um, how do you see that one? Yeah, I was to be honest, I thought he was very harshly let go, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, I know I know coaches and stuff like that down there, and I haven't spoken to him about the situation at all, but yeah. you know, it'd be they're, they're all gone with him as well. So I, I just thought he was a little bit harshly done by a call. Six points behind the playoffs, opinion. not too bad. No, not for a club like Cove, you know, considering you look where Cork City are. Uh, so, you know, that, that that was my opinion. Now, I'd, I always thought that they were a club going the right direction. Maybe they weren't happy with how 
slowly it was probably progressing for them. But, you know, I think they'll do well to get better than they had this season. I still think they'll finish in around six points off it. Uh, I can't really see them going for it. But now is an opportunity for them. I, I don't say I, I'm not agreeing with it. I'm not, you know, I'm not disagreeing with it. But I'm saying now is an opportunity now for the new man to come in, have a couple of months under his belt, have a crack at the playoffs, and then next season... Maybe, you know, try and cement your spot in them playoffs and try and go and compete. So, you know, probably in t- I might have been harsh on Stu and stuff like that, but, mm. you know, now they have a couple of months now to get the house in order uh, with the new manager and see how it goes. But, you know, I think they, I don't think they'll win this one. No, I, can't, I think Shadow are going to win this one as well. And um, to be honest, they brought in Malloy. I didn't really think they needed to make any additions to the squad, if I'm honest yeah, with you. But look, if he can do so it. Yeah, I didn't think so either. But, you know, I, I'd be the opposite to you now. I think that, mm. that UCD result is going to hurt them. Uh, it's going to hurt them a lot, considering I, I'd, be, I'd be a bit sketchy playing shells in the cup now. Uh, I think a lot of teams were probably feared them. In my opinion, like I'd rather, I'll be honest with you, and I'd rather play Finn Harps, Waterford, you know, Longford, possibly even, you know, possibly even Derry or Drottery, rather than play Shells in the cup. So, you know, I think they were they were a feared side in the cup, and they were dark horses for me. So, considering they went out, I think that's going to hurt them a lot. In terms of like the league, in my opinion, is wrapped up, and they had a they had a great chance to focus on the cup and go and do something for them. So I think that will hurt them a lot. But they have to regroup now and just mount their on till the end of the season, and hopefully win the title for their sake and get themselves back where they belong. So you're saying Shelburne win? I'm going quite comfortable, maybe two 0 Yeah. Something like that. Uh, Cavan Teeley take on Bray, and this is a derby match, even though one is in Dublin and one is in Wicklow. I was considered to be a derby match, and the fact that Pat Devlin is at Cabo it always adds to it as well. Only five points between them in the table, but uh, Cavan Teeley just can't. I say it every week, they've scored 13 goals in the league, Keane, and every week they still score 13 goals. It's not changing. They can see the three goals against Wexford in the Cup and didn't score either. So that's five, six games without a goal. They're really, really struggling at the moment, despite being. You know, five points outside the playoffs, aren't they? Bray, that was a bad result for them against Pats. And, um, you know, 6 0. Like, you know, in fairness, Pats were excellent in that match. And I actually think um, when I look back at it, that Pats could have played like that against a lot, some Premier Division teams and there wouldn't have been a bit, as big of a difference in the scoreline. They could have beaten teams 4 or 5 0 playing like that. Do you understand? So I wouldn't, if I was Bray, I wouldn't look too harshly on that, to be honest. But it's still tough when you lose 6-0 and you have to go in and play Cabo away. Yeah, look, it's tough. Uh, I thought Pats were excellent in the game. And, yeah. You no, know, look, it was it was easy for Pats. And, you know, Bray were chasing shadows for the whole game since the first goal. And that was tough. That was tough to take for Bray. I always expected a hammer. I expected Pats to... I didn't think it'd be 6 now. I thought it'd be 2 or 3, but I thought... It'd be still chasing, but you know it's tough. But Cabin Teeley, I, I wouldn't be fearing them at all. I'm gonna go Bray to win this easy. Yeah, I think Bray are gonna win it as well. I'll go for two 0 It's just I don't know. It's hard to see where the goals from Cabo are coming from. They're not even creating chances. As far I don't see all the games, but as far as I'm told, they're not creating chances. And uh, yeah, I think Bray will cement their place in the playoff and maybe even push up the table if they can get a get a win there. Finally, we've got Wexford and Galway, and uh, look, Wexford at the bottom of the table of five points. But no matter what you say, it was a great result to beat Cabo three 0 And Kyle Robinson and uh, Moylan, since he's come in, uh, Robinson's actually really improving as the season goes on, which is a good sign for for Pats as well, maybe in the future. But uh, those two are playing really well for Wexford at the moment, aren't they? Scoring goals, creating chances. Right, excellent. Uh... I thought a big statement there of intent signing Ian Ryan they're going down again. Yeah. Uh, giving them a new contract and just, that just gives them a little bit of stability. Uh, I think they're doing well. Look, a massive win in the Cup. Uh, they got a fairly favourable toy as well for the next round, you'd like to think. Yeah. You'd like so, to think, yeah. You know, I think, it, I think it's going to be uh, for all positive from Wexford now at the end of the season. I think a goal for them, possibly for me now, in my opinion, 
go over there and get off the bottom of the table if you can. Uh, you know, two or three wins and you find yourself in the mix again. and just yeah. I, I think it can be easily done and I wouldn't be surprised to see them win this one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're, I, I keep mentioning those two young lads, but in fairness, Jack Doherty's been playing really well in the middle of the park. Fitzgerald has added something to them, to be fair, to the team, and I'd imagine just his pure leadership. Yeah. Uh, he seems to be playing all right for them as well. But as for Galway, like, I mean, you know, they were beaten 2 0 by Sham Growers in the Cup. No big deal, really. They'll move on. They'll be looking to, I suppose, cement their place in the playoffs. So, second in the league, unlikely you're going to win it, I think. But uh, you still need to keep up the standards, don't you, as the season goes on there, if they can, like, if they can, like. Yeah, look. I think they're getting a lot of a lot of people a lot of discontent about the club at this minute in time and a lot of people saying they're not delivering. They're second in the table. I know they're I know they're miles off shells in my opinion, but they're second in the table and they're the best of the rest at the minute. Mm. So, you know, I I don't I won't be too hard on them. I think at the start of the season, yeah, fair enough, I understand where people are coming from. But you know, they've creeped up the table very quietly. And nobody's even speaking about them second. People are saying, oh, God, we haven't really hit the heights. And I turned around to somebody else and said, you know they're second in the table, don't you? No, nobody realises where they are. But, you know, I just think there was a lot of pressure on them coming into this year. And I think yeah. over the course yeah. of the season, they've handled it very well. And they've got themselves <laughs> back up the table, finished second. And now we have... You'd give themselves a chance of at least playing in the fourth division playoff final before you play the Premier Division side and then see what happens. And even at that, I think most of us thought to ourselves that next season is the season where they really get to judge and go for it maybe as well anyway. Now, they could still go up, as you say, to the playoffs. But really, I think next season is the season you really look at them. They remind me of Treaty again with a few extra quality players, perhaps. That kind of stuff. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think they'll, uh, they'll definitely go up there. They'd be confident coming into this game, but I think Wexford will win this, in my opinion. That's an interesting one, because I was thinking that as well, but I kind of went for a draw and sitting on the fence. But it's interesting, none of us went for Galway, because I think a lot of people go for Galway there. Look, guys, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, Gina. Thanks, bud.